The Council of Europe Co. French, Conseil de l'Europe, CDE is an international organization whose stated aim is to uphold human rights, democracy and the rule of law in Europe. Founded in 1949, it has 47 member states, covers approximately 820 million people and operates with an annual budget of approximately half a billion euros. The organization is distinct from the 28-nation European Union (EU), although it is sometimes confused with it, partly because the EU has adopted the original European flag which was created by the Council of Europe in 1955, as well as the European anthem. No country has ever joined the EU without first belonging to the Council of Europe. The Council of Europe is an official United Nations observer. Unlike the EU, the Council of Europe cannot make binding laws, but it does have the power to enforce select international agreements reached by European states on various topics. The best known body of the Council of Europe is the European Court of Human Rights, which enforces the European Convention on Human Rights. The Council's two statutory bodies are the Committee of Ministers, comprising the foreign ministers of each member state, and the Parliamentary Assembly, composed of members of the national parliaments of each member state. The Commissioner for Human Rights is an independent institution within the Council of Europe, mandated to promote awareness of and respect for human rights in the member states. The Secretary General heads the Secretariat of the organization. Other major co-bodies include the European Directorate for the Quality of Medicines and the European Audiovisual Observatory. The headquarters of the Council of Europe are in Strasbourg, France. English and French are its two official languages. The Committee of Ministers, the Parliamentary Assembly and the Congress also use German, Italian, Russian, and Turkish for some of their work. History Britain's wartime leader Sir Winston Churchill was the first to suggest the creation of a Council of Europe in a BBC radio broadcast on 21 March 1943, while the Second World War was still raging. In his own words, he tried to peer through the mists of the future to the end of the war once victory had been achieved, and think about how to rebuild and maintain peace on a shattered continent. Given that Europe had been at the origin of two world wars, the creation of such a body would be, he suggested, a stupendous business. He returned to the idea during a well-known speech at the University of Zurich on 19 September 1946, throwing the full weight of his considerable post-war prestige behind it. The future structure of the Council of Europe was discussed at a specific congress of several hundred leading politicians, government representatives and civil society in The Hague, Netherlands, in 1948. There were two schools of thought competing, some favoured a classical international organisation with representatives of governments, while others preferred a political forum with parliamentarians. Both approaches were finally combined through the creation of a committee of ministers in which governments were represented and a consultative assembly in which parliaments were represented, the two main bodies mentioned in the Statute of the Council of Europe. This dual intergovernmental and interparliamentary structure was later copied for the European Communities, North Atlantic Treaty Organization and the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The Council of Europe was founded on 5 May 1949 by the Treaty of London. The statute was signed in London on that day by ten states, Belgium, Denmark, France, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Sweden and the United Kingdom. Three months later, on 10 August 1949, 100 members of the Council's Consultative Assembly, parliamentarians drawn from 12 nations Turkey and Greece had by then joined the original 10 founding members, met in Strasbourg for its first plenary session, held over 18 sittings and lasting nearly a month. They debated how to reconcile and reconstruct a continent still reeling from war, yet already facing a new east-west divide, launched the concept of a trans-national court to protect the basic human rights of every European citizen, and took the first steps towards what would in time become the European Union. Topic. Historic speeches at the Council of Europe Topic. In 2018 an archive of all speeches made to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe by heads of state or government since the Council of Europe's creation in 1949 appeared online, the fruit of a two-year project entitled, Voices of Europe. 
At the time of its launch, the archive comprised 263 speeches delivered over a 70-year period by some 216 presidents, prime ministers, monarchs and religious leaders from 45 countries, though it continues to expand, as new speeches are added every few months. Some very early speeches by individuals considered to be «founding fathers» of the European institutions, even if they were not heads of state or government at the time, are also included such as Sir Winston Churchill or Robert Schumann. Addresses by eight monarchs appear in the list such as King Juan Carlos I of Spain, King Albert II of Belgium and Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg as well as the speeches given by religious figures such as Pope John Paul II and several leaders from countries in the Middle East and North Africa such as Shimon Peres, Yasser Arafat, Hosni Mubarak, Leopold Seder Senghor or King Hussein of Jordan. The full text of the speeches is given in both English and French, regardless of the original language used. The archive is searchable by country, by name, and chronologically. <laughs> Aims and achievements Article 1 of the statute states that the aim of the Council of Europe is to achieve a greater unity between its members for the purpose of safeguarding and realizing the ideals and principles which are their common heritage and facilitating their economic and social progress. Membership is open to all European states who seek harmony, cooperation, good governance, and human rights, accepting the principle of the rule of law and are able and willing to guarantee democracy, fundamental human rights, and freedoms. While the member states of the European Union transfer part of their national legislative and executive powers to the European Commission and the European Parliament, Council of Europe member states maintain their sovereignty but commit themselves through conventions, treaties international law, and cooperate on the basis of common values and common political decisions. Those conventions and decisions are developed by the member states working together at the Council of Europe. Both organizations function as concentric circles around the common foundations for European cooperation and harmony, with the Council of Europe being the geographically wider circle. The European Union could be seen as the smaller circle with a much higher level of integration through the transfer of powers from the national to the EU level. The Council of Europe and the European Union, different roles, shared values. Council of Europe conventions, treaties are also open for signature to non-member states, thus facilitating equal cooperation with countries outside Europe. The Council of Europe's most famous achievement is the European Convention on Human Rights, which was adopted in 1950 following a report by the Council of Europe's Parliamentary Assembly, and followed on from the United Nations' Universal Declaration of Human Rights UDHR. The convention created the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. The court supervises compliance with the European Convention on Human Rights and thus functions as the highest European court. It is to this court that Europeans can bring cases if they believe that a member country has violated their fundamental rights and freedoms. The various activities and achievements of the Council of Europe can be found in detail on its official website. The Council of Europe works in the following areas. Protection of the rule of law and fostering legal cooperation through some 200 conventions and other treaties, including such leading instruments as the Convention on Cybercrime, the Convention on the Prevention of Terrorism, Conventions Against Corruption and Organized Crime, the Convention on Action Against Trafficking in Human Beings, and the Convention on Human Rights and Biomedicine. CODEXTER, designed to coordinate counterterrorism measures. The European Commission for the Efficiency of Justice CEPEJ. Protection of Human Rights, notably through The European Convention on Human Rights The European Committee for the Prevention of Torture The European Commission Against Racism and Intolerance The Convention on Action Against Trafficking in Human Beings The Convention on the Protection of Children Against Sexual Exploitation and Sexual Abuse the Convention on Preventing and Combating Violence Against Women and Domestic Violence Social Rights under the European Social Charter Linguistic Rights under the European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages Minority Rights under the Framework Convention for the Protection of National Minorities Media Freedom under Article 10 of the European Convention on Human Rights and the European Convention on Transfrontier Television 
protection of democracy through parliamentary scrutiny and election monitoring by its parliamentary assembly as well as assistance in democratic reforms, in particular by the Venice Commission. Promotion of cultural cooperation and diversity under the Council of Europe's Cultural Convention of 1954 and several conventions on the protection of cultural heritage as well as through its Centre for Modern Languages in Graz, Austria, and its North-South Centre in Lisbon, Portugal. Promotion of the right to education under Article 2 of the First Protocol to the European Convention on Human Rights and several conventions on the recognition of university studies and diplomas see also Bologna Process and Lisbon Recognition Convention. Promotion of fair sport through the Anti-Doping Convention Promotion of European youth exchanges and cooperation through European youth centres in Strasbourg and Budapest, Hungary. Promotion of the quality of medicines throughout Europe by the European Directorate for the Quality of Medicines and its European Pharmacopoeia. Institutions The institutions of the Council of Europe are The Secretary-General, who is elected for a term of five years by the Parliamentary Assembly and heads the Secretariat of the Council of Europe. Torbjorn Jagland, the former Prime Minister of Norway, was elected Secretary-General of the Council of Europe on 29 September 2009. In June 2014, he became the first Secretary-General to be re-elected, commencing his second term in office on 1 October 2014. The Committee of Ministers, comprising the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of all 47 member states who are represented by their permanent representatives and ambassadors accredited to the Council of Europe. Committee of Ministers presidencies are held in alphabetical order for six months following the English alphabet, Turkey 11 2010 05, 2011, Ukraine 05, 2011 minus 11 2011, the United Kingdom 11 2011 05, 2012, Albania 05, 2012 minus 11 2012, Andorra 11 2012 05, 2013, Armenia 05, 2013 minus 11 2013, Austria 11 2013 05, 2014, and so on. The Parliamentary Assembly PACE, which comprises national parliamentarians from all member states. Adopting resolutions and recommendations to governments, the Assembly holds a dialogue with its governmental counterpart, the Committee of Ministers, and is often regarded as the motor of the organization. The national parliamentary delegations to the Assembly must reflect the political spectrum of their national parliament, i.e., comprise government and opposition parties. The Assembly appoints members as rapporteurs with the mandate to prepare parliamentary reports on specific subjects. The British MP Sir David Maxwell Fife was rapporteur for the drafting of the European Convention on Human Rights. Dick Marty's reports on secret CIA detentions and rendition flights in Europe became quite famous in 2006 and 2007. Other Assembly reports were instrumental in, for example, the abolition of the death penalty in Europe, highlighting the political and human rights situation in Chechnya, identifying who was responsible for disappeared persons in Belarus, chronicling threats to freedom of expression in the media and many other subjects. The Congress of the Council of Europe Congress of Local and Regional Authorities of Europe, which was created in 1994 and comprises political representatives from local and regional authorities in all member states. The most influential instruments of the Council of Europe in this field are the European Charter of Local Self-Government of 1985 and the European Outline Convention on Transfrontier Cooperation between Territorial Communities or Authorities of 1980. The European Court of Human Rights, created under the European Convention on Human Rights of 1950, is composed of a judge from each member state elected for a single, non-renewable term of nine years by the Parliamentary Assembly and is headed by the elected President of the Court. The current President of the Court is Guido Ramondi from Italy. Under the recent Protocol No. 14 to the European Convention on Human Rights, the Court's case processing was reformed and streamlined. Ratification of Protocol No. 14 was delayed by Russia for a number of years, but won support to be passed in January 2010. The Commissioner for Human Rights is elected by the Parliamentary Assembly for a non-renewable term of six years since the creation of this position in 1999. Since April 2012, this position has been held by Nils Moisniks from Latvia. The Conference of INGOs NGOs can participate in the INGOs Conference of the Council of Europe. 
Since the Resolution 2003-8 adopted by the Committee of Ministers on 19 November 2003, they are given a «participatory status». The Joint Council on Youth of the Council of Europe the European Steering Committee CDEJ on Youth and the Advisory Council CCJ on Youth of the Council of Europe form together the Joint Council on Youth CMJ. The CDEJ brings together representatives of ministries or bodies responsible for youth matters from the 50 states parties to the European Cultural Convention. The CDEJ fosters cooperation between governments in the youth sector and provides a framework for comparing national youth policies, exchanging best practices and drafting standard-setting texts. The Advisory Council on Youth comprises 30 representatives of non-governmental youth organizations and networks. It provides opinions and input from youth NGOs on all youth sector activities and ensures that young people are involved in the Council's other activities. Information offices of the Council of Europe in many member states. The co-system also includes a number of semi-autonomous structures known as partial agreements, some of which are also open to non-member states. The Council of Europe Development Bank in Paris. The European Directorate for the Quality of Medicines with its European Pharmacopoeia. The European Audiovisual Observatory. The European Support Fund Euromidges for the co-production and distribution of films The Pompidou Group, cooperation group to combat drug abuse and illicit trafficking in drugs The European Commission for Democracy through Law, better known as the Venice Commission The Group of States Against Corruption Greco. The European and Mediterranean Major Hazards Agreement Europea, which is a platform for cooperation between European and Southern Mediterranean countries in the field of major natural and technological disasters. The Enlarged Partial Agreement on Sport, which is open to accession by states and sport associations. The North-South Centre of the Council of Europe in Lisbon, Portugal. The Centre for Modern Languages is in Graz, Austria. Topic. Headquarters and buildings Topic. The seat of the Council of Europe is in Strasbourg, France. First meetings were held in Strasbourg's University Palace in 1949, but the Council of Europe soon moved into its own buildings. The Council of Europe S8 main buildings are situated in the Quartier Europen, an area in the northeast of Strasbourg spread over the three districts of La Wacken, La Robertsau and Quartier de l'Arngerie, where are also located the four buildings of the seat of the European Parliament in Strasbourg, the Arte headquarters and the seat of the International Institute of Human Rights. Building in the area started in 1949 with the predecessor of the Palais de l'. Europe, the House of Europe, demolished in 1977, and came to a provisional end in 2007 with the opening of the new General Office Building, later named Agora, in 2008. The Palais de l' Europe, Palace of Europe, and the Art Nouveau Villa Schutzenberger, seat of the European Audiovisual Observatory, are in the Orangery District, and the European Court of Human Rights, the European Directorate for the Quality of Medicines, and the Agora Building are in the Robertsau District. The Agora building has been voted Best International Business Center Real Estate Project of 2007 on 13 March 2008, at the MIPIM 2008. The European Youth Center is located in the Wacken district. Besides its headquarters in Strasbourg, the Council of Europe is also present in other cities and countries. The Council of Europe Development Bank has its seat in Paris, the north-south centre of the Council of Europe is established in Lisbon, Portugal, and the Centre for Modern Languages is in Graz, Austria. There are European youth centres in Budapest, Hungary, and in Strasbourg. The European Wargillen Centre, a new resource centre on education for intercultural dialogue, human rights and democratic citizenship, operated in cooperation with the Norwegian government, opened in Oslo, Norway, in February 2009. The Council of Europe has offices in Albania, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Georgia, Moldova, Montenegro, Serbia, and Ukraine. Information offices in Albania, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Estonia, Georgia, Hungary, Latvia, Lithuania, Moldova, Poland, Romania, Russian Federation, Slovakia, Slovenia, the Republic of Macedonia, and Ukraine, and a projects office in Turkey. 
All these offices are establishments of the Council of Europe and they share its juridical personality with privileges and immunities. Due to persistent budgetary shortages, the Council of Europe is expected to cut down significantly the number of its activities, and thus the number of its employees, from 2011 on. This will notably affect the economy of the city of Strasbourg, where a total of 2,321 people on the 1st of January 2010 are doing salaried work for the Co. Most offices in foreign countries are expected to be closed as well. Topic: <laughs> Member States, Observers, Partners. Topic. The Council of Europe was founded on 5 May 1949 by Belgium, Denmark, France, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Norway, Sweden and the United Kingdom. Greece and Turkey joined three months later, and Iceland and West Germany the next year. It now has 47 member states, with Montenegro being the latest to join. Article 4 of the Council of Europe statute specifies that membership is open to any European state. This has been interpreted liberally from the beginning, when Turkey was admitted, to include transcontinental states such as Georgia and Azerbaijan and states that are geographically Asian but socio-politically European such as Armenia and Cyprus. Nearly all European states have acceded to the Council of Europe, with the exceptions of Belarus human rights concerns, Kazakhstan human rights concerns, and the Vatican City a theocracy, as well as some of the territories with limited recognition. Besides the status as a full member, the Council of Europe has established other instruments for cooperation and participation of non-member states, observer, applicant, special guest, and partner for democracy. Topic. Cooperation Topic. Topic. Non-member states Topic. The Council of Europe works mainly through conventions. By drafting conventions or international treaties, common legal standards are set for its member states. However, several conventions have also been opened for signature to non-member states. Important examples are the Convention on Cybercrime signed for example, by Canada, Japan, South Africa and the United States, the Lisbon Recognition Convention on the Recognition of Study Periods and Degrees signed for example, by Australia, Belarus, Canada, the Holy See, Israel, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, New Zealand and the United States, the Anti-Doping Convention signed, for example, by Australia, Belarus, Canada and Tunisia and the Convention on the Conservation of European Wildlife and Natural Habitat habitats signed for example, by Burkina Faso, Morocco, Tunisia and Senegal as well as the European Community. Non-member states also participate in several partial agreements, such as the Venice Commission, the Group of States Against Corruption Greco, the European Pharmacopoeia Commission and the North-South Centre. Invitations to sign and ratify relevant conventions of the Council of Europe on a case-by-case -case basis are sent to three groups of non-member entities. Non-European states, Algeria, Argentina, Australia, Bahamas, Bolivia, Brazil, Burkina Faso, Chile, China, Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, El Salvador, Honduras, South Korea, Kyrgyzstan, Lebanon, Malaysia, Mauritius, Morocco, New Zealand, Panama, Peru, Philippines, Senegal, South Africa, Syria, Tajikistan, Tonga, Trinidad and Tobago, Tunisia, Uruguay, Venezuela and the observers Canada, Israel, Japan. Japan, Mexico, United States. European states, Kosovo, Kazakhstan, Belarus and the observer Vatican City. The European Community and later the European Union after its legal personality was established by the ratification of the EU's Lisbon Treaty. European Union the Council of Europe is not to be confused with the Council of the European Union the Council of Ministers or the European Council. These belong to the European Union, which is separate from the Council of Europe, although they have shared the same European flag and anthem since the 1980s because they both work for European integration. The Council of Europe is not to be confused with the European Union itself. The Council of Europe is an entirely separate body from the European Union. It is not controlled by it. 
Cooperation between the European Union and the Council of Europe has recently been reinforced, notably on culture and education as well as on the international enforcement of justice and human rights. The European Union is expected to accede to the European Convention on Human Rights. The Convention. There are also concerns about consistency in case law. The European Court of Justice, the EU's court in Luxembourg, is treating the convention as part of the legal system of all EU member states in order to prevent conflict between its judgments and those of the European Court of Human Rights, the court in Strasbourg interpreting the convention. Protocol number 14 of the convention is designed to allow the EU to accede to it and the EU Treaty of Lisbon contains a protocol binding the EU to join. The EU would thus be subject to its human rights law and external monitoring as its member states currently are. Topic: <inaudible> United Nations. Topic: The beginning of cooperation between the CO and the UN started with the agreement signed by the secretariats of these institutions on the 15th of December 1951. On 17 October 1989, the General Assembly of the United Nations approved a resolution on granting observer status to the Council of Europe which was proposed by several member states of the CO. Currently Council of Europe holds observer status with the United Nations and is regularly represented in the UN General Assembly. It has organized the regional UN conferences against racism and on women and co operates with the United Nations at many levels, in particular in the areas of human rights, minorities, migration and counterterrorism. In November 2016, the UN General Assembly adopted by consensus resolution a Res. 7117 on cooperation between the United Nations and the Council of Europe whereby it acknowledged the contribution of Council of Europe to the protection and strengthening of human rights and fundamental freedoms, democracy and the rule of law, welcomed the ongoing cooperation in a variety of fields. Non-governmental organizations. Non-governmental organizations NGOs can participate in the INGOs Conference of the Council of Europe and become observers to inter-governmental committees of experts. The Council of Europe drafted the European Convention on the Recognition of the Legal Personality of International Non-Governmental Organizations in 1986, which sets the legal basis for the existence and work of NGOs in Europe. Article 11 of the European Convention on Human Rights protects the right to freedom of association, which is also a fundamental norm for NGOs. The rules for consultative status for INGOs appended to the Resolution 9338 on relation between the Council of Europe and non-governmental organizations, adopted by the Committee of Ministers on 18 October 1993 at the 500th meeting of the Ministers' Deputies. On 19 November 2003 the Committee of Ministers changed the consultative status into a participatory status, "...considering that it is indispensable that the rules governing the relations between the Council of Europe and NGOs evolve to reflect the active participation of international non-governmental organizations in the organization's policy and work program." Others. Topic. On 30 May 2018, the Council of Europe signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the European Football Confederation UEFA. Topic. Characteristics Topic. Topic. Privileges and immunities Topic. The General Agreement on Privileges and Immunities of the Council of Europe grants the organization certain privileges and immunities. The working conditions of staff are governed by the Council's staff regulations, which are public. Salaries and emoluments paid by the Council of Europe to its officials are tax exempt on the basis of Article 18 of the General Agreement on Privileges and Immunities of the Council of Europe. Topic: Symbol and Anthem. The Council of Europe created, and has since 1955 used as its official symbol, the European flag with 12 golden stars arranged in a circle on a blue background. Its musical anthem since 1972, the European Anthem, is based on the Ode to Joy 
Theme from Ludwig van Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. On 5 May 1964, the 15th anniversary of its founding, the Council of Europe established 5 May as Europe Day. The wide private and public use of the European flag is encouraged to symbolize a European dimension. To avoid confusion with the European Union which subsequently adopted the same flag in the 1980s, as well as other European institutions, the Council of Europe often uses a modified version with a lower case e, surrounding the stars which is referred to as the Council of Europe logo. Topic. Criticism and controversies Topic. In recent years, the Council of Europe has been criticized for doing too little to stand up to the transgressions of some of its members. In 2013 the Economist agreed, saying that the Council of Europe's credibility is on the line. Both Human Rights Watch and the European Stability Initiative have called on the Council of Europe to undertake concrete actions to show that it is willing and able to return to its original mission to protect and ensure human rights. Issues have been raised regarding Azerbaijan's relationship to the Council of Europe, including allegations that Azerbaijan has, over a sustained period, provided bribes to council members to vote down criticism of the authoritarian rule of the Aliyev regime and support motions advantageous to Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan joined the Council of Europe in 2001. Since September 2014, Human Rights Watch said that Azerbaijan's Systematic crackdown on human rights defenders and other perceived government critics shows sheer contempt for its commitments to the Council of Europe. In 2017, Council member and Italian politician Luca Volante was accused by Italian prosecutors of receiving over 2.3 million euros in bribes in exchange for working for Azerbaijan in the Parliamentary Assembly, and that in 2013 he played a key role in orchestrating the defeat of a highly critical report on the abuse of political prisoners in Azerbaijan. The money was paid to Volante in monthly installments of €100,000, starting in 2013, via four anonymous offshore companies. The payments stopped in 2014 when Volante's bank reported them as suspicious transactions to the Milan prosecutor's office. Arif Mamadov, former head of the Azerbaijan representation at the Council of Europe, has stated that Azerbaijan S delegation at the council had 25 million dollars available to bribe members of the delegations and pace generally since 2014 Russia S voting rights have been suspended by the council due to Moscow's annexation of Crimea from Ukraine In response Russia has started to withhold its annual membership dues in the amount of 33 million euros placing the institution under financial strain Russia claims that its suspension by the Council is unfair and demands the restoration of voting rights. European Council Secretary-General Torbjorn Jagland organized a special committee to find a compromise with Russia in early 2018, a move that has been criticized as giving in to Russian pressure by Council members and academic observers, especially if voting sanctions were lifted. See also Topic C A H D I C O D E X T E R Common European Framework of Reference for Languages Conference of Specialized Ministers Council of Europe Archives European Anti Fraud Office European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages European Court of Human Rights European Social Charter European Union Film Award of the Council of Europe Group of States Against Corruption Moneyval European Commission Against Racism and Intolerance ECRI International Organizations in Europe, and Coordinated Organizations List of Linguistic Rights in European Constitutions North-South Centre of the Council of Europe Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe Venice Commission World Anti-Doping Agency References External links
Official website General Agreement on Privileges and Immunities of the Council of Europe, Paris, 2 September 1949